Make way for another TV streaming box. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The company behind the app, Fanhattan, has announced the launch of Fan TV. It's a small box you hook up to your TV that will stream in video from services like Netflix and Hulu, but it will also integrate with your cable TV service and DVR recordings, all in one interface. It includes this buttonless touch remote that has users swipe to navigate. This isn't available yet, but the company showed off some screenshots of the interface, which looks very polished. And get this, Fan TV says it can replace the need for a separate cable box and DVR, so it would work with cable providers to just be the one box you need to handle everything? That sounds like a dream to have everything in one, but Fan TV has not said which cable providers it is working with, so who knows if it'll actually work out or if the cable providers will want to work with Fan TV. The company says it will launch sometime later this year, and there's no pricing announced yet, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Twitter made a strange change to its list feature by increasing how many lists you can make. On Twitter, a list is a way to organize users by different topics, such as creating a list just for people who talk about tech. Before, you could create 20 lists, each with 500 accounts in them. Now users can make up to 1,000 lists, and each of those lists can have 5,000 accounts. I mean, more than 20, I guess, is nice, but who needs 1,000 lists? Ain't nobody got time for that. Android fans have been eagerly waiting for news about the mysterious Moto X phone, and we finally have confirmation that it will arrive sometime between now and October. Ever since Google purchased Motorola Mobility, we've been waiting what that next generation of Motorola phones would look like. Motorola CEO Dennis Woodside gave hints about the Moto X during an interview at the All Things Digital Conference. He said he had the Moto X in his pocket, but he wouldn't take it out to show the audience. However, he said this phone is able to know what's going on around it and he could fire up the camera just by taking it out of his pocket and that it would act differently when you're in a car driving. And he said the phone can pull all this off without draining the battery faster than other phones. Hmm, interesting. And for those who don't want to wait until October for a new phone, Google announced it will sell an unlocked pure Android version of the HTC One on June 26th, which means you'll be paying $600 up front since it's not subsidized by a carrier contract. That's your tech news update. You can find more details on these stories at cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.